Yeah, good morning. I greet everybody. Uh, as I make a discuss this matter this morning again. Now we say I never talk him before. I talk talking every time. I won't talk him again. I don't talk him before. Anyway, before I go down to that one, I want to thank um, His Excellency Dr. Senator Fayokova, former governor of Delta State. I want to specially thank you, first of all, for taking time out to drive all the way from Asaba or maybe, you know, Owa to come and visit the, the family of uh, the late legend Chief Akwiti. I saw it on video. I think I saw it in one group chat. I saw you were seated there. You came to condole the family and the children. That thing, I really, really appreciated that fact. And you came with your daughter, Honorable Marilyn, member representing the good people of Ikanotis in Delta State House of Assembly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to condole with the family. And also, thank you for the gifts. I was told you gave them a gift to support the funeral. Thank you. And I want to also make it known that this is not the first time you have been showing love to that man and supporting that man. He's a legend, no doubt about that. And me, personally, I'm happy that during my time, all these things happened. You know, that's something I have to be thankful of. At least I'm an Makuti, I'm an Sikimogan, I'm an Mucheka. These are the main big arts we had in the carnation. Thank you for the love you show. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I don't care how people think about it or what they think about it because, you know, say, people, they talk different things. Uh, I don't really care. Me, anything I talk, I just stand by them, I bear the consequences. And when I say it, I say it from my heart. Once more, thank you. Thank you. All right, now, to the point. Um, My brother, I'm going to yeah, now could this insecurity or am I too high? Okay, no one. Who go move? You go take a kidnap me. I will not kidnap you. You go out and get fine. You go answer. Or am I the one who will get a jet and do a highway here? What a highway? Which one we believe in? Yeah, Joe Babu Etobo. And the news we are receiving now is getting very bad. That even in the morning or in the afternoon, that somebody goes to his farm, he's either killed or kidnapped. What just happened in the Babu? I think yesterday or the day before yesterday. I carry we will keep talking about it because a lot of people are not talking. The people that are supposed to take actions are not taking actions. There was also on social media where I saw a vigilante head in a car notice that one of his members, I mean two or three of them were kidnapped and some were killed. So the guy was already upset. Like we are very upset. And the guy now spoke out. And the system were, were against him. They almost arrested the guy for speaking out and taking actions. Even when we don't support his actions, he was upset. His people are dying. So, um, while I thank him for taking, for speaking out, for trying to take action, I also want to advise him that not everything you do on social media. Because I want to also say here that every Nigerian has the right to live wherever they want. I said it before in my former video. It's their right to live wherever they wish to live in Nigeria. The only difference is when you come to live in an environment, my brother, don't cause any crime. The, everybody get their way of life. Every place get how that they live. They get their culture. They get their tradition. Okay. Another thing I said in my previous video is that the kings are not speaking up enough. They are not talking. I have not seen the kings in the carnation sit down together to talk. I have not seen it. I have not also seen them sit down together to talk, drive in convoy to meet the governor, and imprint their decision and their anger, their feeling about what is happening in their place. None of them will. None of them will. None of them will. You see? And every community, they from their pocket individually and whatever it is, they sustain their king. They sustain their king. I repeat it. No king get business. No king get company. Even if any king will get company, then they collect from the people, from the land, in the name of the land. Whether they go Abuja, go get the contract, or they go as about, now in the name of the land, then they take collect their contract. And then they collect money from the land. They take the chop. They train their children. Yet, they know they talk. At the beg on now. At the beg on now. Mokon at the talk. They will be Dodoni, Dodoni. Zunu, me, onu le, no, dini zu, me. No, 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 jedi kunu sheriff, the governor. I tell any name or call us so many or Jimovia or MF Larazawa or Nduko Babina or General Rabo on one Kabambo, Alonu Ronu Lakia. The benefit of this land only benefit here, only the gain here. You people should sit down, talk together, put up agendas how you could solve insecurity. Nearzejubo, Nearzejubo. 
heavy hunger is coming. Please, not in a cook, gender hunger of non religion and God and gender. What's not in the book of the Buddha? Buddha only the block on the government house. Let the world see that you people are taking action, you people are angry. Eh, and only corner back to your own early cocoon. Why in your being? Why you won't early cocoon? Chilini, in here came on only immortal baffle ma. Then in the Malaka, I met Palace on a broom one after the other. Then he shame lay down. That is where we're gonna we're gonna stand up because then the broom will be broom where she mafia. In here, the Melu Buluku. I'm just saying, wake up.